to the home of mathematics. In this video series, we will show you the milestones in the journey of human mathematical discoveries. Carl Friedrich Gauss, 1777 to 1855. Gauss was born in Brunswick, Germany on the 30th of April 1777. Gauss was a German mathematician and physicist. Gauss has great contributions in many fields of mathematics and science, and is one of the most influential mathematicians in history. At the age of seven, Gauss calculated the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 100 is equal to 5050. In 1796, Gauss showed that a regular polygon can be constructed by compass and straight edge if the number of sides is the product of distinct Fermat primes and a power of 2. This was a major discovery in an important field of mathematics. Construction problems had occupied mathematicians since the days of the ancient Greeks, and the discovery ultimately led Gauss to choose mathematics instead of philology as a career. Gauss was so pleased with the result that he requested that a regular heptadecagon, 17 gun, be inscribed on his tombstone. The stonemason declined, stating that the tedious construction would essentially look like a circle. In 1799, Gauss proved the fundamental theorem of algebra, which states that every single variable polynomial with complex coefficients has at least one complex root. Equivalently, the theorem says that the field of complex numbers is algebraically closed. How could you add up all the numbers up to 100 at an age of 7? Well, simply put another series side by side in a reversed order. All the pairs added up to a constant of 101. There are 100 terms, so the overall sum is just 100 times 101 equals 10,100. Half of 10,100 is 5,050. Euler told us that he needed the imaginary number to solve x squared plus 1 equals 0. Do we have to create more and more numbers to solve more complicated algebraic equations? Ah. Uh, no, all we need are complex numbers, as I can prove that for all algebraic equations, even with complex coefficients, there is at least one root, which can be written as a complex number. This is called the fundamental theorem of algebra. Starting with a circle of a large value of z containing the origin and centered at 8 0, when the magnitude of z reduces the big circle will shrink towards 8 0. As the function f, z, is continuous, at some point the circle has to cut across the origin, and the solution f, z, equals 0 is given by the intersection point. Mr. Gauss how do we know that the surface of Earth is not flat, non-Euclidean? You can erect two long posts at 100 kilometers apart, measure the shadow of the second post when the first post is right under the sun. This is the way how Greek mathematicians measured the radius of the Earth. Ah, can we measure the curvature of the space or universe we are living in? Yes, you have to draw a huge triangle of many light years in size in the cosmic microwave background, CMB. Or unless you are near a black hole. Sir, what is a light year and what is a black hole? I heard about them from Albert Einstein in a dream. Thank you for watching. Talent is important, but how one develops and nurtures it is even more so. See you at the home of mathematics.